on, church, let me hear you. You are the Ooh. 
mercy speak for me so that you can pray through me. I'll bring my sin before the blood of the Lamb so that you can pray through me. I'll bring
through me, Lord. Make me holy, make me righteous, Spirit. Well, 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 you are welcome, beloved sisters and brothers. The song says, I bring all my trouble, all challenges to God, that he may help you and I. It means we cannot do anything without the help of the Spirit of God. Wherever you are, join me to say, thank you, Jesus. Thank him, our heavenly Father, we thank you for your love and grace upon us. Thank you for being merciful. Thank you for being loving. You are God who speak and it comes to pass. You are God who keep promises to your people. We bless you in our holy name, O oh God. How awesome, Lord, you are. There is none like you in all the earth. We adore you for who you are. Thank you, Jesus, for gathering us once again. It's our prayer that we bring all our burdens, challenges, struggles, shame to you, that to you, that you may pray through us. Father, take away our shame, our disgrace, Lord Jesus. For we know that whoever look unto you, they are like mine to Zion. They will never be moved. Those who trust in you will never be put to shame. Thank you for being gracious. Thank you for the free gift of the Holy Spirit. Thank you for gathering us once again. It's a privilege for us to gather. Lord, we thank you for inviting us, the Spirit of the living God. Speak through us, manifest, glorify Jesus in our midst. We have to say, Father, thank you. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray and believe. Join me once again as we ask for mercy and forgiveness. Our Heavenly Father, we ask for your mercy and forgiveness. We have sinned against you, only against you. Our ways are not pleasing. We do things that consider to be not pleasing to you. We ask for your mercy, O oh Lord. Have mercy on us in the name of Jesus. Have mercy on us as a gathering. Have mercy on us, Lord. Sanctify us. Speak to us through your word. Your name may be glorified now and forever. In Jesus' name, we commit the gathering to you, O oh God. Speak to us, transform us, heal us, mold us, rebuild us. Do that what you want to do with us. We bless you, our holy name. Spirit of the living God, you are the best teacher. Teach us at this very hour. In Jesus' name, we pray and believe. Yeah, highly beloved, join me once again as we see what the Lord has to say to us in Proverbs chapter 11. Praise God. I will use good news. In Proverbs chapter 11, the Lord hates people who use the dishonest scale. Praise God. How great, how wonderful that Jesus is. He has done what no man can do. We bless his name for his God. He has done so much for you and I. Praise God. Thank him again. Thank him <clears throat> before we go through our Bible reading. Thank him once again. Thank him for your family. Thank him. Thank him. Thank Jesus. Thank him for what he has done. Thank him. Thank him. Thank him. Thank Jesus. Thank Jesus. Thank him. Thank Jesus. Our Father, we thank you. 
for you are God. There is none like you. Thank you for our children. Thank you for, thank you in the name of Jesus. We worship you, Son of God. You are so good. Oh, mighty God, hallowed be thy name. Your dominion be forevermore. Fan of God, you are so good. Ooh. Okay, let us see Proverbs 11. The Lord hates people who use dishonest skills. He's happy with the honest ways. People who are proud will soon be disgraced. It is wise to be modest. <clears throat> well, the Bible, the Lord hates dishonest scales, whereby if scales as a Christian let scale you have, have the exact measure. As it's, if it's one kilo, let it be one kilo. Some people, they change scale whereby it shows one kilo, but it's not even one kilo. Such kind of act, God is not pleased with it. He went further and said, people who are proud will soon be disgraced. It is wiser to be modest. Proud people, Wherever you allow pride to enter you, one day you will be disgraced. So the Bible advises one to be modest. Never consider yourself. Don't give way room for pride. Better be modest. Just be a simple man or woman. Knowing that whatever you may be able to do, it is just by the grace of God. If you are good, you are guided by honesty. People can't be trusted. People can't be, can't be trusted are destroyed by their own dishonesty. Yes, we know we have men and women. You cannot trust them. They tell you A, but deep inside their heart, they are meaning Z. They tell you something, but deep inside them, they don't really what they mean to you. So such men and women, they will surely be disgraced or fall into trouble. So here it is, he said, that good people are guided by honesty. A good man, a woman, they are always honest. Honest describes them. They are always honest. You can rely on them. You can trust them. They are men with their word. What they have to, if they say at 10, it means 10. Come rain, come not. They will keep that appointment. But men who are dishonest, they are like this. They tell you something, they give you assurance. But due to their own motive behind, they end up not even keeping what they have promised. Praise God. I have seen this in marriages. Where you see a man and woman promising each other to be faithful, but as time goes on, they cannot keep their promises to each other. Such people, God is not pleased with them. So if you are a good man, be honest. Let honest guide you, lead you what to do and what not to do. He says that who cannot be trusted are destroyed by their own dishonesty. People who cannot be trusted, they are all destroyed by their own dishonesty. Riches will do you no good on the day you face death, but honesty can save your life. Riches cannot do you any good when it's time for you to die. But if you are an honest man, your honesty can preserve your life. What does that mean? If you get, you have got wealth or whatever, 
as a result of dishonesty, it will do you no good. It's better you be honest, receive little but with the honesty. That honesty can save your life. What does that mean? I have seen men who gain wealth through dishonesty. When they perish, even their wealth perishes once. And I have seen those who are honest, even if they die, their honesty still remain to their children being transferred. I pray you be honest man or woman. Honest makes a good man life easier, but a wicked man will cause his own downfall. Honest make one, one, a man life very easier, but dishonesty will only destroy the, the person who is wicked. Praise God. I have seen whereby people are being trusted with things before parents die, but as soon as the parents die, they don't keep their promises and they literalize the remaining orphans. Such people, they will not go unpunished. Right, righteousness rescues honest man, but someone who can't be trusted is a trap, is trapped by his own greed. People who cannot be trusted, it is just a trap by their own greed. What does that mean? Men and women choose to be dishonest while they want to gain so quickly. They want to prosper so easily. So the Bible says that such whatever they are gaining is just a trap. One day they will be destroyed by their own greed. They are not content. I have seen man, they are oppressing poor and they continue to oppress them. So their own greed will really destroy them. The Bible makes us understand. Righteous man, righteousness rescue the honest man. Righteousness will rescue you and I. Praise be to God. The wicked man dies, his hope dies with him. Confidence placed in riches come to nothing. Confidence men and women, they are placed on riches. All comes to nothing because once they die, all they have also die with them, comes to nothing. So their wealth cannot rescue them. Praise be to God. The righteous are protected from trouble. It comes to the weak state instead. God has always made it possible to see that every believer, he, pre he preserved them from trouble. And for that case, the trouble end up falling on the wicked men. It's my prayer, you continue right, being righteous. Righteousness is just being, having right believing. Praise be to God. Listen highly beloved. The Bible continues and say, you can be reigned by the talk of godless people. But the wisdom of the righteous can save you. Meaning, when you engage yourself in a conversation of godliness, people who do not have fear of God, they will just lead you to destruction. They will reign you. They will may lead you to be no more. But the wisdom of a righteous can save you. It's very good to have wisdom or to get wisdom from a righteous man or woman. That righteousness can save you as an individual, as individual. Praise God. Pay always attention. When you decide, when you realize that this man or woman is led by the Spirit of God, such people are very big good people to keep them as your friend. Praise God. Yeah. Listen, a city is happy when honest people serve, when honest people have good fortune. Their joy shouts when wicked men die. When a wicked man dies, people shout and very happy. But imagine someone to die instead of mourning and crying, but people are 
celebrate in somebody's death if he's a wicked man or woman. I have seen men who are really wicked. People are wishing, I wish that man can die, waiting for the day that person will die because of the way he treats them, the way he takes everything that they own. I have seen nations whereby leaders, people are tired of them, waiting for them to die. Praise God. And the truth is, if they happen to die, people will celebrate, even share gifts, because that wicked man has died. The city is happy when an honest, honest man has good fortune, which means when an honest man succeeds, city will rejoice. People will rejoice because they know that that success is not only for him, but is for people around him and those who are far. Praise be to God. A city becomes great when righteous men give it their blessing. But a city is brought to reign by the words of the wicked. A righteous man is very, very important in an organization or a city. Here the Bible says that a city becomes great when a righteous man blesses it. In other words, where you are, things are going well because of your prayer. Praise God. So whenever you open your mouth and bless someone or bless your nation, that nation will be great because of your blessing that you have decreed upon it. That woman, that man will become great if you declare a blessing upon their life. Sometimes it happens instantly. Sometimes it takes some few days. But I know one thing, wherever you declare a blessing, that blessing is given to that particular person. So it's a matter of days of hours or minutes to see it manifesting physically. It depends on God himself. Praise God. The Bible says, but a city is brought to reign by the words of the wicked. The city can come to the reign of being destroyed by the words of the wicked people. Same as you yourself, you can become a bless, you can become great by the blessing from a righteous man or woman. And if you are a person who listen to the words of wicked, my dear sister, just know any time you are going to be destroyed. Praise God. It is foolish to speak scornful of others. If you are sensible, you will keep quiet. It's not good to speak scornful of others. The best way is to be quiet. No one gossip can be trusted with a secret. But you can put confidence in someone who is trustworthy. If you are someone who loves gossip, it is very difficult for someone to trust you because they know very well whatever they tell you in a secret, you will surely share it with the other people. So it is better to be a, to, to be somebody people can trust, having confidence in you that knowing you will keep their secret. Be trustworthy. A nation will fall if it has no guidance. If the nation has no guidance, it will surely fall. Listen, many advice are mean security. If you promise to pay a stranger debt, you will regret it. You are better off if you do not get involved. Some people you stand as a surety in, on behalf of a stranger saying, okay, leave him. I'm standing on his behalf. Just know if that man fails to pay, you'll be the one to pay. And most especially if he's a stranger, he can just run away and you will be the very one to face the consequences. So the Bible advises you, don't try to stand on behalf of a stranger and say you'll pay his debt if he failed to pay. Don't do that. You lose all what you have and you will cry. It's better not to involve yourself. A gracious lady is respected, but a woman without virtue is a disgrace. A woman who is gracious, a woman who is kind, 
everyone respect them. But those who are not kind, people disregard them. They are a disgrace. Less money will never have money, but an aggressive man will get rich. Less man will never have money or become rich, but aggressive, they will easily become rich. You do yourself favor when you are kind. If you are cruel, you only hurt yourself. When you are kind, remember, you are just doing favor to yourself. What does that mean? When you are kind, you will receive kindness in return. If you are cruel, you will receive cruel in return. Which means, if you are merciful, you will receive mercy. If you are such a loving man, remember, you will receive loving in return. Praise God. The Bible continues and says that if you are cruel, you are hurting yourself. Wicked people do not really gain anything. But if you do what is right, you certainly be rewarded. Wicked people, they gain nothing. But if you are good, certainly as time goes on, you will be rewarded for your goodness. So continue being a good man or a good woman. Praise God. There are some reward you get in this country, and some take a few days or time. It's just a matter of God to approve it. Anyone who is determined to do right will live, but anyone who insists on doing wrong will die. If you are in your heart determined to do right, you will live longer. But if you are determined to do wrong, just know you are making your life shorter. Praise be to God. Because you, if you insist on doing bad, just know that you will soon die. You determine in your heart, you say, I'll be kind, I'll be forgiving, I'll help people. Once you do that in your heart, you will live long. But if you insist doing bad, people are complaining, people are crying, you never take advice. I tell you, you will soon die. The Lord hates evil-minded people, but love those who do right. We have evil-minded men and women. They never want to see other people happy. No matter how men and women struggle to see that things work out, for them they are trying to see how they can bring this man down to block every way of success for this man. But God is in heaven and he see whatever goes on. The Bible says the Lord hates evil-minded people but love those who do right. So continue doing right even though you are in the midst of evil-minded Praise God, their time, it will come. You can be sure that evil men will be punished, but righteous men will escape. Evil men will be punished, and the righteous will escape punishment. So, whatever you see wicked evil people doing, just know that as time comes, they will be punished here on earth before they face punishment in heaven. Praise be to God. I want you to see something, beloved. The Bible says, Beauty, is a, beauty in a woman without good judgment is like a gold ring in a big knot. Wow. What good people want always result in good. When they wicked get what they want, everyone is angry. Wicked people, when they get what they want, people do not celebrate with them, but people are just angry about it. Praise God. But what good people want always result in good, which means every good man, whatever you desire or want, it results in good. People benefit from it. Praise God. Look at look here, beloved. He say that beauty in a woman 
beauty in a woman without judgment is like a gold ring. It means if a woman you are so beautiful, but there is no judgment, which means you are not kind, you are not wise. It is just like having putting a ring on a pig. It has no value. It has nothing. It's just like a waste. So once you are a beautiful woman, you are expected to have good judgment. How you treat people, it, it is very, very important. Some people spend their money freely, will grow richer. Others are conscious, yet grow poorer. Here it means that people who love sharing what they have with the others, they will always gain, they will always be richer. But those who keep, some people call them stingy, don't want to share, they will end up even in being poor. So I encourage you, as a child of God, learn to be someone who share what you have with others, and you will increase in wealth. Praise God. Be generous, and you will be prosperous. Help others, and you will be helped. He say here, be generous and you will prosper. Help others and you will be helped. When you are busy helping others, someone else is waiting to help you. When you are busy speaking for someone, someone else is busy speaking on your behalf. When you are busy praying for somebody, someone else is busy praying for you. When you are busy helping others to come out of their problem, someone else is waiting to take you out of that problem. Praise God. People, people curse a man who harbor gain, waiting for a higher price, but they praise one who puts his for sale. If you, if your girl are good, you will be respected, but if you are looking for trouble, that is what you will get. If you have goal, maybe you have said that, oh, if I do this and do this, I will have this and I will be able to be a blessing to people. Such, it is something that God is pleased to be, even people will respect you. But if you are looking for trouble, but there, there are some people who just look for trouble, such individual, they will get trouble in, in a return. The Bible makes us understand. People cast a man who has gain, which means there are people who increase their price so high. People will just be cursing. Yes, they will be buying, but they will curse you. But a person who but praise the man, one who puts it up for his sale. Somebody who is moderate in his selling minding how people people will praise him and will like him praise god listen beloved as we come to an end the bible says those who depend on their wealth will fall like the leaves of autumn but the righteous will prosper like the leaves of sun the man who brings trouble on his family will have nothing at the end foolish men will always be servants to the wise righteousness gives life but violence take it away. Those who are good are rewarded here on earth, so you can be sure that wicked, sinful people will be punished. Now here it makes sure, it makes us understand that wicked men and women that you know, as they continue with their wickedness, I tell you they will be punished. Not too long you will see them being punished. And, and those who are good, they will be rewarded here on earth. So you can be sure that wicked, sinful people will be punished. So when you are a good man, good woman, just know you will be rewarded here on earth. Righteous give life, righteousness gives life, but violence takes it away. Wherever you stick on being righteous man, just know, you are adding your lifespan. Praise God. But if you are a wicked man, 
just know your life you are you are giving out your life the man who brings trouble on his family will have nothing at the end if you are a man who brings trouble on your family the end you will have nothing praise god so i pray you do not be someone who brings trouble on your family praise god that is the end of proverbs chapter 11. please if you have a question or you want to contribute or to say something, do it to the glory of God. Praise God. Yeah. We love to pray for you before we go. We love to pray for you if you have a testimony or so we'd love to hear. We bless your name, Almighty God. We bow before your throne. We bless your name, Almighty God. We bow before your throne. We bless your name, Almighty God. We bow before your throne. We bless your name. Almighty God, we bow before your throne. We bless your name. Almighty God, we bow before your throne. Jehovah Shama, I see you everywhere. Blessed Redeemer, your glory is the place, everlasting Father. The one who watches me. I put my confidence in you, Jehovah Shama, Jesus, we are here, Savior, we are here, we are here, waiting for you, Jesus. We are here, Savior. We are here, we are here, waiting for you. You stretch your hands, I'll pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for this day. I commit your people in your hands as their faces are different. So their desires also are different. I call unto you, Yahweh, the God that hears the cry of his people. Oh Lord, here are your children. As you have said, come unto me, and I will give you rest. Lord, we have come. Give your people rest. Lord, we have come. Touch your people. Lord, we have come. Heal your people. Some are discouraged. Some feel like giving up. But you are God. There is no place for argument. All I ask, son of David, have mercy on your people. Have mercy on us, O oh Lord. Have mercy. Let your mercy speak for us. Let your mercy speak for, your, for the career of your people. Mercy speak for their family in the name of Jesus. Whatever and whatever pain you may be having, touch where the pain is. I command that pain 
wherever it is located, out you pain, says whatever and whatever have been demonized in any way, every witchcraft sin, out in the name of Jesus, any witchcraft sin, catch fire in the name of Jesus, every spirit of this, this pain, out you demon, every witchcraft sin, catch fire in the name of Jesus, whatever cage you have been kept into, that cage catch fire, every strings of enemy, holding you back, catch fire in the name of Jesus. Every conspiracy against you as an individual, scatter by fire, whatever arrows of enemy targeted in your life, I command them to be scattered by fire, wherever and whatever, as they come in one way, scatter by in seven different ways, in the name of Jesus. Every manipulation of earth, be destroyed and scattered, in the name of Jesus. Every pit of earth, I send it back to pit of earth. Oh Lord, arise in your Shekinah glory. Let it be known that you alone, your God, arise in their families, arise in their home. Every spirit that is not of God, wherever it is located, your time is expired. Out of that home, out of that family, out you demon. Out you demon. In the name of Jesus, I curse you out in the name of Jesus. Out in the name of Jesus. You that are sick, every spirit of infirmity, out in the name of Jesus. HIV, out in the name of Jesus. High blood pressure, out in the name of Jesus. Sickness disease, out in the name of Jesus. You infirmity, out in the name of Jesus. Bad luck, out in the name of Jesus, out wherever it is, out you poison, out of their system, out of their body, out wherever you are, in the name of Jesus. I decree, be healed of that cancer, be healed of that disease, be healed of that sickness, in the name of Jesus, by stripes of our Lord Jesus Christ, I declare you healed, as it is written. By stripes we are healed. I declare you are healed. Your business is healed. Your marriages are healed. Your finances are healed. Your homes are healed. Your marriages are healed. Your children are healed. Everything to do with you. Your nation is healed. Everything, leaders, you are healed. Government leaders, all are healed. In the name of Jesus. Whatever and whatever you may have eaten, either in the dream or in the physical, that is from your enemy, table of your enemy, be flushed out of your system by the blood of Jesus. Be flushed out 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 by the blood of Jesus. Out you pain. Out you poison, out wherever you are, you disease, out you demon, nightmare spirit, out in the name of Jesus, out you sin power, out every curse, out in the name of Jesus. Whatever have entered you by a command from evil, I command that very thing, out in the name of Jesus, out in the name of Jesus. Out in the name of Jesus. Out in the name of Jesus. I declare you free. For all son set free is free indeed. I declare a blessing. You are going out is blessed. You are coming in is blessed. Seal you with the blood of Jesus. In Jesus Christ's mighty name, we pray and believe. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Let the children of God say, thank you, Jesus. Thank him, thank him. Thank him, thank him. For you have done for you. Take time and go through Proverbs again, chapter 11. Read if you find something you may not really want, you may not really understand. Reach out, we'll be, we'll be happy. 
to be used to help you to understand. Thank you for your coming. We serve a blessing. Praise be to God. Join me as we share salvation. Salvation is word abiding in us and we abide in it. Remember, better is not good enough. The best is here to come in Jesus' name. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the sweet fellowship of our Holy Spirit be with us all now and forever. Amen. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all days of our life and we shall be in the house of the Lord forever and ever.